Hello and welcome to the Metabolic Classroom. I am Professor Ben Bickman. I'm a biomedical scientist who focuses on metabolism and I'm a professor of cell biology. There are a lot of things we could discuss when it comes to alcohol, um, but this is, of course, one of the most active or, or uh, one of the most commonly consumed psychoactive substances around the world. I mean, ethanol, the main form of alcohol, is psychoactive. You know, it does influence the brain. And this is what we find in all sorts of alcoholic beverages. The metabolism of ethanol or alcohol is unique in that it is metabolized almost exclusively by the liver. And we're going to revisit that fact as we discuss some of insulin's, uh, some of alcohol's effects on metabolism and insulin resistance later. Now, there, as I mentioned, there's a lot we could discuss with regards to alcohol consumption, and we're going to keep it strictly within the realm of metabolism and insulin resistance. And if I sometimes say ethanol or alcohol, this is synonymous. So it's the same thing. I may just shift between the two depending on the particular uh, study that I'm thinking of or citing or whatever comes to the top of my mind in that moment. Now, alcohol-induced insulin resistance is a thing. Uh, ethanol is capable of causing insulin resistance both directly and indirectly. And there are multiple molecular mechanisms that are responsible for this. So in other words, alcohol is capable of causing insulin resistance actually through multiple and distinct uh, methods or pathways. And we're going to cover all of that in the discussion that we have today. Um, but just for the sake of clarity and and even simplicity, let's start with the direct role. Uh, the, the evidence that suggests that ethanol is capable of causing insulin resistance directly. Now, there are some other, of course, indirect contributors that I think are very important and contribute to the overall, the overall effect of alcohol. When we consider someone who's drinking alcohol chronically or even somewhat infrequently, there's a lot more that goes into just the direct effect. It continues to have effects that actually quite uh, – that become uh, broader. Seeler et al. in 2000 published a paper finding that ethanol directly inhibited the actions of the insulin receptor. Uh, so you'll you'll recall from previous discussions, insulin being a peptide hormone, it's not capable of going into the cell itself. So if insulin wants to tell the cell to do something, it has to bind to a receptor to do that. And then once the receptor is bound with insulin or activated, it's going to elicit a series of events ultimately leading to the cell responding and doing whatever insulin wanted it to do. Well, again, this paper by Seeler et al. in 2000 finds that ethanol was capable of um, disrupting the signal right at the origin, so directly blocking some of the effects at, at, at what's called the insulin receptor substrate, IRS, or specifically IRS1. So ethanol if you incubate cells with ethanol or give them a little ethanol and then put some insulin into the culture, immediately you detect a reduced responsiveness. Also, ethanol, a paper by Shelmet et al. in 1988, finds that ethanol rapidly increases oxidative stress products or these reactive oxygen species. And uh, um, with more oxidative stress comes a shift in some of the phosphorylation state or the activation of some of those same enzymes um, in that insulin path, uh, pathway or the insulin signaling cascade. So when insulin, uh, again, comes to the cell and tells the cell to do something, as a part of that something is going to be a series of events, one enzyme affecting another affecting another, and then the change in oxidative stress with ethanol starts to disrupt some of this. Um, and then one, um, another paper, Onishi et al., 2003, finds that this series of effects can go all the way to affecting GLUT4. GLUT4 is the glucose transporter that is what's abundant in the most abundant tissues, um, skeletal muscle and fat. So when insulin comes to skeletal muscle and fat, knocks on the door of the cell via the insulin receptor, one of those um, cascades of events coming from the insulin, coming and knocking, you know, a lot of things start to happen. One of those things that starts to happen, one pathway of, of biochemical signaling will result in GLUT4, this glucose transporter coming from within the cell, kind of opening up another door on the surface of the cell, allowing glucose to come in. Well, the paper by Onishi et al. 
um, again, 2003, finds that ethanol incubation disrupts that. And that would just be further evidence of, of insulin resistance caused by ethanol 